Welcome to our few moments together on the Parsha. This Shabbos, we have the privilege of reading Parshas Vayetze. Yaakov, Vayetze Yaakov me Be'er Sheva. Yaakov leaves Be'er Sheva and he goes to Choron. As we know, he has a dream in which he sees a ladder. The ladder is Mutsav Artsa. It's standing on the ground. Verosho Magia Hashemayma. But the head is reaching up to the heavens. Similar to us human beings, our feet are planted on the ground, but our heads, our heads can soar up to the heavens. And in his dream, Hashem comes to him and he speaks to him and he says to him, And your seed, your children, shall be like the dust of the earth. And you shall spread out, literally, Yama Vakedma to the west and to the east, Safona Vanegba to the north and to the south, Venivrichu Vicha, and shall and they shall be blessed in you, Kalmish Bachos Adama, all the families of the earth, Uvizarecha, and in your seed, in you and in your seed shall all the families of the earth be blessed. And you are going to be like the dust of the earth. We think perhaps that when it says we'll be like the dust of the earth, it means we'll be kicked around all over the place. We'll be like the dust of the earth that's spread out to all four corners of the world. Yes, perhaps that's true. But there's another aspect of the Afar Haaretz. The dust of the earth is indestructible. And no matter what you do to try to get rid of it, it's always there. The Jewish people are indestructible. And even though we've gone from exile to exile to all the corners of the earth, what we do when we go there is we bring blessing to all the families of the earth. Yaakov is told, And in you shall be blessed. Kol mishpachos adama, all the families of the earth, uvizarecha, and in your seed. What is it that one person can bring blessing to the whole world. How can one human being have such an influence on bringing a blessing to the whole world? As it says, and in you shall be blessed. You, Yaakov, you as an individual have the ability to bring influence and blessing to the whole world, and also your seed. What kind of blessing is it that one individual, one small family, can bring to the entire world. As Rav Sham Shofar her so beautifully explains, the one thing that the Jewish people can bring to the world and thereby influence and have effect on the whole world is in the realm of the spiritual, in the area of bringing the soul, the neshama to the world, bringing the concepts the ideology of the absolute goodness that is in each every individual, because each and every one of us is B'Tselem Elohim. We each are a spark of God, each of us in the image of Hashem to bring goodness to the world. That is the way one person and one family can bring blessing to the entire world through the gift of the Jewish spirituality. This evening, when we went to Dava Mincha and Meir, it was Thursday, Erev Shabbos, and there's a storm raging in New York, and it's a pre-winter storm, and many people, unfortunately, were unable to attend. But we managed to put together a minion, a bit late perhaps, but we did get a minion. But because of the late hour, we had to Dava in Mincha, and then immediately go into Meir, where we were in danger of losing the minion. Now, every single day of the year, when we daven mincha, right afterwards, we learn Mishnayis and Halacha. We learn a Mishnah, L'zecher the Neshama, of the people of the shul that are departed in the year, and we learn in their memory. Tonight, because we daven mincha and Mariv immediately, and it was late already, there was a question. I thought to myself, should I insist that we learn? I didn't say a word. Interestingly enough, the members of the shul, the people 
of the shul, without mentioning names, but you know who I mean, said to me, Rabbi Snow, aren't we going to learn a Mishnah? Ah, what wonderful people we have in the shul. What great balabatim, what great spirituality exists amongst the members of the young Israel Bethel. They wanted and insisted that we learn a Mishnah. I was all more than happy and eager. And we sat and we learned the Mishnah, Nishmas. That's how we bring spirituality to the world. Because we recognize that it's not just what we do to quickly finish our responsibilities, but we're deeply involved, La Sok B'Divrei Torah. We're deeply involved in the Torah. And the way that Yaakov was given the blessing to bring spirituality to the whole world is through the Torah. That's how we Jews can make an impression on the world. It's true we may make an impression by discovering medical advancements, scientific, high-tech, yes, ideology and philosophy of all sorts, including those that are not so Torah-oriented, yes, but the real gift that we bring to the world, the gift that spreads out and brings blessing to all the world, as Yaakov did, is the blessing that Hashem gave us on Mount Sinai, the Torah. And in you and in your seed shall all the families of the earth be blessed, because the way we can influence the world in the most and bring the greatest good to the world at large is through our connection with the Torah and its spirituality. That's a very big mila of the Jewish people. As we lead up to Hanukkah, which reminds us of the flame of Jewish spirituality. Have a wonderful Shabbos.